What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Uh, like I said before, in the last video, towards the end, I did order stuff for the S14 to try to help it and fix it in some ways. What I got was parts to help finish the big brake kit or the, you know, BBKs or technically, you know, it's not really a big brake kit, but it's just an OEM upgrade. Uh, you guys know I have the GTR front brakes on right there. You can see and um, the rear, it, uh, I didn't want to do it at first because I was going to lose my e-brake. And that's just technically, for me, annoying. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but um, the OEM e-brake is nice. And uh, I don't like a hydro or anything like that crazy. Just because, like, you know, uh, I would like to learn without using a hydro. But, you know, you know, uh, things are inevitable. And I'm having, like, brake issues in the rear, so... Today, what is going on? We're doing the rear calipers, finally. Um, I have everything to do it now. Um, I Well, I technically did have everything, but then I let uh, a customer from HP use my, um, borrow my like pins and stuff to hold the brake uh, pads and stuff. So I had to order a brand new set, which is in here. I have a steel braided brake line, conversion lines right here. Obviously rotors, they're used and the calipers. Uh, when I first did the fronts, like I said, um, they were gifted to me by a HP customer. Um, I don't remember what their build was, uh, like like they, like their whole like build was. I knew it was R32 GTR and you know, they upgraded to a two bake, uh, they upgraded to a two-piece Brembo brake, uh, brake kit. I can't say that right now. Brembo brake kit. Yeah, they upgraded to a two-piece um, rotor. You know, six six piston, just big brakes. You know, they they just went all out. So today, um, I'm just gonna do the rears. And also, you see the springs here. Uh, yesterday, I was helping my friend Jason, you know, with the ignorant WRX. Well, it's not ignorant anymore because he's. Uh, yesterday we we put it basically almost fully back to stock because he is planning on getting rid of the car. I can't say what he plans on getting next just yet, but for payment and stuff like that, you know, he bought me stuff. And then um, we have 18k springs that we're gonna attempt to put on the front of the car to help with um, the stiffness, just because um, I feel like stiffening up the front end would help it a lot. And, you know, obviously you want the rear end to be a little softer. So just so you know, like when it squats down, you get maximum grip or whatever, um, just technical things. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna uh, take the wheels off and um, get ready to put the rear brakes on. All right guys, so we have the wheels off and it disposes obviously the rotor stock OEM brakes. So we just got to take the caliper off, disconnect the brake line, but obviously we're going to wait for that last minute when we have all that set up. Take off the rotor. Um, most likely have to take off the dust shield because the rotor for the GTR rears are a lot bigger. So I'm, uh, I'm going to see if I could just dis dis disconnect the rear uh, dust shield because on the front, what we did before is that we just sliced this, bent it up, and it was like that. But there's a chance that um, when you're back working on here, you can slice open your wrist or something like that. And you know you don't want to be emo. So like the safer way, just unbolt this and um, that's about it. So it should be easy swap, um, but you never know. So I'm gonna uh, try to set you guys up, but it's kind of difficult because I'm by myself and my uh, tripod thing is not the best right now. So I'll just keep you updated. All right, guys, so we got the caliper off, uh, we got the rotor off, and it exposes the rear um, knuckle, basically. So in order to take out the dust shield, you're going to have to probably take out um, the axle nut and then take out the four bolts behind holding the wheel bearing on. And um, obviously pull wheel bearing off, pull the dust shield on, put the wheel bearing back in, and... That's basically it for the, the removal of the dust shield. And then it'll give you all the clearance to put the bigger rotor on. 
and then we'll test out clearances and see if I need a 300ZX rotor or that GTR rotor will work fine. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. So um, I wish I could just set you guys up and like do a time lapse for this, but obviously, you know, I I'll try. Give me a second, I'll try. Right, guys so that took a little forever because it was impossible because i did it without taking the axle out and it was a pain but got wheel bearing out shield off so now we have all this room um definitely gonna clean up clean this up a bit and then definitely put the wheel bearing back on so we connect the brake caliper put the rotor on well rotor on brake caliper you guys get what i mean but uh, right now, we are just, that just took forever. But wheel bearing is still good. Um, I don't think the rears were ever like replaced or destroyed, but I mean, with me, they're gonna get destroyed. My axles are fucked, but you know, that's a given. But yeah, I'm gonna put everything back on and uh, time lapse it. So now just comparing the GTR rotor to the stock S14 rotor, you can basically see the size difference. Like I have it like flipped, but you can see the size difference where you can see the whole GTR brake behind it still. <laughs> but yeah, so it's better stopping force and you know, more, more of a contact. Instead of a single piston in the rear, it's, it's gonna be a dual piston. And then obviously the, I have a, a four piston up front with these. And then I have drilled, but yeah. Small OEM upgrades, Shoo! All right guys, so I jumped ahead a little bit and I just decided to just fully send it and then just bolt it all up together so this would be the finished product besides the pads the clips and stuff like that but the steel braided brake line is in right here um right here let's see it's basically just uh if you were looking to get these brake lines it's a 300 zx to s chassis you know conversion and it works with the gtr uh brakes because the gtr and the 300 zx are basically the same exact thing but you got to make sure the 300 zx is the twin turbo model and yeah so it spins freely because obviously i can't spin it like this because i have a welded diff so it spins both sides but other than that that's basically it so i gotta do that to the other side but i'll explain what you have to do if you have what you have to do if you were in my current situation but we're gonna go eat because pat is here stuff is here Hello. And we're gonna do some hood rat shit with my friends. All right, we've been back for a little bit. I just jumped straight into working. And um, this side is basically complete. Every, like, brake pads are in. The new clips and uh, clips and everything is on is in on this side. Uh, let me know if this is all right, or this works right here because, or this is the right way, because uh, I don't remember. It's been a minute for the rear. But yeah, this side is done. Um, the other side, I just, Pulled off the rotor, took off the dust shield, bolted um, the hub back, and uh, got the axle nut back in. So right now, gotta get this off the old one. I know Hanging's bad for it, but I'm I'm literally replacing it. 
So got a Irish Bay, this is a WD-40 up here, the brake line, take the clip off, uh, break it loose, swap it over, and um, that's basically it. Then we gotta bleed it. But um, if you, if it literally came off, um, if the calipers came off a stock GTR, like it did for me, all you have to do is unbolt these two right here, they're 12 mils, unbolt this, and then you apply the conversion brake line, steel braided brake line, literally from the caliper, and then it connects to that uh, brake line port, and that's basically it, so, give me a second, I'll help you. Uh, all right guys, so we have both sides done. I just jumped ahead and finished this side really quick from what you guys saw. Calipers on, brake pads are in. Now we have to do the bleeding. So the way you have to do a bleeding, you wanna do the furthest of the master first. So it's passenger rear right here. We're gonna do this side first. And then uh, obviously we'll go to the driver's side rear. Uh, might as well uh, bleed the front too because uh, I leaked out a lot of fluid. So might as well just give a good flush in general. So we're gonna do that really quick and then test out the brakes, see how they feel, so. <laughs> Someone start a GoFundMe for Alex so he can build this motor or buy a spare. Uh -huh. Please. This man needs to get the, what, 340 horsepower? A thousand horsepower. A thousand horsepower. A thousand horsepower KA? Check, check, the, check the reservoir. It's still full, well, not really full. I think it's at the limit. It's just under the max mark. So someone sponsor Alex or start a GoFundMe because uh, I want to see this slide. You know what I'm seeing? Some like, what do you think, Pat? About? This car. I like it. It used to be clapped, but now it's cool. It was never clapped. Yeah, actually it was clapped. I remember it had two different colors. Yeah, it was red. Yeah, red. And, and this, this champagne. Chapog color. Chapogne. <laughs> Chapogne. Yeah, it used to be clapped, but he's got the carbon. He's got the nice wheels and the stancy boy stuff going The chrome clapped, Johnny's. Made it not clapped and it clapped it again. Nah, it's not. I mean, it's a little bit rashed up. You know what you gotta do to make it unclapped? Sell the car. Turbo. No. Don't sell the car. Don't sell the car. Reshell. Reshell. Nah, turbo. Put some S15 badges. Put some S15 badges. <laughs> I thought about the S15 front end. Honestly, this car is sick. It's better than any Volkswagen I've driven before. I miss my Volkswagen. Hey, he had a, didn't you have a Mark, Mark IV? Four? Yeah. yeah Mark, I thought you had the, what's it called? The Tiguan, the old Tiguan. Nah. Bro, didn't you have like a Corolla or some shit? Alex has some interesting cars back in the yeah. day. He stances a lot of different cars. Every single, every single one of my cars has been stanced. When he came down here, he had the Miata. Yeah, with the RPF ones on. That was set of wheels. That's when we met him. That was like two years ago. Yep. Damn. Yeah, I've had this, I've had this car for two years now. Can I hold them over? Damn. Hold I wonder where that Miata's at. Uh, it's cool. It might collapse somewhere. It <laughs> would probably collapse somewhere. <laughs> Honestly. I'm still surprised you fit into it. Dude, seeing him jump out of it, crisscross apples. Because Alex is taller than me, and I'm 6'2". And you think you're cramping me out. I'm 6'2". No, you're like 6'3", bro. You're taller than me. I'm 6'2". Nigga, you're 5'7". Maybe you're smaller than you think you are. Nah, because I went to the doctors. They were like, he should be in the NBA. So that's how I know they were like, black. yeah, that's exactly why. Damn, so when is your build gonna start? <laughs> pumping. Pumping? I'm pumping. <laughs> I don't have a build in mind. Bro. I'm undecided. Get an EcoBoost Mustang. Okay. Automatic. Alright. Can you pump like a real man? <laughs> Those half pumps aren't doing shit. Bro, I can't get all the way down. This is all I can go. Really? Yeah. You guys are What are you talking about? <laughs> Look at this. I'll put a force in it. Mmm. Hold it. This is a strong brake. Oh, he's got them big Johnnies on him now. Big Johnny. 
eat the art, doc. Mm. See, this is all pedal play I got right now. It was good before it felt like shit. You do got some scrawny ass legs. Bro, oh my god, it was <laughs> <laughs> You got some female legs. You just got hair on them. You know what? Like if you shaved, I would be like, oh that's female legs. Thor probably has thicker legs. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, where is Thor by the way? At home. You never bring Thor out. He's this man, in the car. This man has the cutest fucking ugliest dog. Ah, the dog's cute. How's the reservoir? Chick chick chick. Uh, it's like halfway in between the max and the min. You want me to add four fluid? No. I'm a rando. You know how many people are like randos? Randos. Yeah. Literally, he was like, oh. <laughs> nah. he was like, oh, I'm sorry. I was reading the comment, and some guy was like, uh. When are you gonna put a turbo on it? And he was like, when you pay for it, I couldn't stop <laughs> laughing, bro. I was like, facts. <laughs> I was like, like you don't like, fund you guys, it? You guys wanna press me, but it's just like, it takes time. And, and money. Yeah, cause I wanna, I wanna. And this is your only car. Yeah, it's my only car. So mm -hmm. I can't just take it down and put all the money towards a turbo kit and stuff like that. Cause there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that, that you have to uh, think about that goes into turbo in your car. I need a fuel pump still, I need injectors, I need the ECU. Motor. Uh, yeah, the motor has to be refreshed. <laughs> trans. I, I get, well, you already got trans. Clutch. I, trans. I need a new clutch. I, I need a lot of things before I actually go turbo. I think what it is is a lot of like the bigger YouTubers because they get shit done fast because they have sponsors yeah, and they have I mean, like shit for them. Just, is I, don't, like I don't have money like baby. Yeah. So it's just yeah. like, yeah. Alex they, they're just like, oh, let's turbo this. And next thing you know, they got sponsors. And this man's got a yeah. nine to five. I'm not complaining. Job. I'm not hating, but I'm just saying, like, it's more than nine to five. I mean, he works I work a lot of like hours, 10. <laughs> Robbie texted him, like, yo, you trying to eat? This man's like, yo, I'm at work. And it's like 10 30. I'm like, bro, what? We'll do it one more time on this side, and I'm moving the front. Hold it. You know, life things. Not everyone can turbo their car in a week. Yeah, it's not everyone can turbo a car in a week. Steve, what it be? Not everyone has that budget. That's why I tell people. This is why my channel is more focused on budget, budget friendly. Because, I mean, if you had the, the subscriber and the monies to do so, this car would have already been done. This car probably would have had like two, three different motors in it. This seating position is so. It's fixed. No way. It sucks. So, where'd you get those harnesses? I got them. Really? Yeah. Max speeding rods, link in description. Yeah, max speeding rods, link Alex in description. Hey, max speeding rods, listen, hear me out. You make coilovers for other cars, right? Whatever else, other Volkswagens. Make some for the Mark 7. That. Please make some for that. I just want to see how they feel. Alex says they're good. I want to try them out. Like, I don't know. I want like a inch drop none too crazy i don't know y'all are the engineers i'm a nobody so max speeding rods if alex puts this in the video make something for this car i'm on springs right now this fitment is trash look at that trash so max speeding rods that i'll have alex make a video on it we'll install it all right guys so we finished up the brakes right now i'm doing a quick swing uh Spring. Spring swap. Uh, yesterday, like I said, uh, I worked on Jason's car. We put it back to stock because he's going to sell his car, get a new car. I still can't say what it is, but uh, what I'm doing right now, I already have the 18K spring on the passenger front, and I just want to do a comparison. So this is the stock spring. Like I say, to what I recommend to everybody that gets max speeding rods, upgrade the springs because they're a little soft for my liking. So this is stock that comes with max speeding rods and I can give it a decent amount of flex. Ooh, pretty bouncy. And the Crocs are in four low, so yeah, let's not forget about that. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm strapped in. Yeah. And this is 18K. Let's get a good angle on it. Literally. Barely. Barely any. So this is gonna, this is gonna help the front a lot, so. That's basically all what I wanna tell you. All right, guys, so. Is it a point five? Yeah, I got you. So. Everything is basically done. Springs are in. Uh, the coilover is not adjusted for height. I just put them in to test preload. And then if it doesn't settle itself, 
I'm gonna adjust the front a little bit. It's a little high for me. But the brakes, all, all in. Gotta make sure I pump it before I go. But I'm going for a little test drive. Sunset he goes. Beautiful. It's majestic. Oh, did you get that? It's nice. Is that his horn on, Ken? Yeah. That little beep. I was pressing the horn, it didn't work. He said he adjusted his steering wheel on it. Oh. What do you have to say about Alex's whip? She <laughs> Respectfully. Respectfully. Gary. Oh, he took it out to the street street. Oh, did he? Come back to come back to Alex being here. All right, bet. Fucking sick. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna shut her down for someone calls the cab. All right, guys. So last clip you saw, we installed the springs and um, we also did the rear GTR brakes, and you know everything's fine, smooth. Um, but it's been a couple days now. It is the next Sunday, a full week, and um, during the week Tuesday, try going for a alignment. But that was a big fail because um, every time Paul would try to get like would get like my alignment like perfect, the tie rod ends, tie rod inner and outer tie rods would be like super close to like basically popping out, and he didn't feel like that was safe. So uh, I ordered um, offset rack spacers over there, and but that's not going to be in this video. I'm going to end this video just because. Uh, you know, I feel like we did enough and it's just too spaced out to uh, feel like kind of connect for me and you know, just more more videos for you guys. So to look forward to. So we're at the shop now, I'm about to do the rack spacers right now. And um, during the week though, it's since, ever since like, well, during the week though, after, after, the, after Sunday, after, uh, after that clip, I lowered the car a little bit more in the front just so it's like back to where it was. And I lowered the rear a little bit. And um, ever since then, it's my car has been weird. Obviously, if you lower your car, it's gonna throw the alignment off completely. So, um, it literally, I tried to adjust it to where like the alignment was all right. And then the outer, the inner and outer tie rod separated from each other on the passenger side. And I had to try to fix that back together. So that's why Tuesday I, I tried to go for a real alignment and realized that it's a little too short to, to where I would need it to be perfect. So um, obviously, so I ordered the rack spacers and uh, right now we're just kind of, you know, we're gonna figure that out, make sure it's good, give, it, give myself another good eyeball alignment. The rear is perfectly fine. The brakes are feel great. Um, you know, I just sucked. I don't have an e-brake. I'm so I'm so used to just ripping the e-brake, so I don't go anywhere. But you know, it's something to get used to. But hopefully, we'll get uh, GK Tech Hidden Hydro in there soon, sooner or later. Just so you know, we have hydro, and I, I like the stock handbrake location because, like, I like the uh, the Japanese style drifters who just use stock e-brake and you know, good hand good uh, e-brake pad or good brake pads in the rear and you know just stock handbrake i like that over the hydro just because the hydro it just makes the interior look out of place for me because like it, this is still my daily so you know it is what it is but i think that's gonna be it for this video hope you guys like this video give it a thumbs up put it down in the comments what you guys want to see next 
and uh, right after I record this, I'm gonna record a new video. So I'll see you guys in the next one.